Okay, junior welterweight semifinals part two. Now we have Hector Thompson facing off with Frankie the Surgeon Randall. And this is another close uh, matchup the way these two, uh, their strengths and weaknesses uh, line up. So it should be pretty interesting. In terms of control, they're they're going to be dead even. Uh, both control ranges are 10 to 20. Uh, 21 to 19 is the endurance, slight endurance advantage for Thompson. Uh, Thompson's tactical, phys uh, Randall's physical. The power advantage, this is kind of like a tail of the tape, right? So the, the power advantage is Randall's. The chin advantage is Thompson's unless... He gets fatigued, and uh, then that chin is going to become more reachable. And Randall, the better finisher, uh, not surprising. Thompson's a little vulnerable cut-wise, and he's got he also has a rare cut uh, special trait, which is not likely to come up, but it's there. So. Enough about that. Uh, we've already seen Rafael Pineda bang his way <laughs> into the finals. So he will face the winner of this one. Set for 10 rounds. Yep, And I'm rolling for Thompson's modes. Two dice, taking the lower result is going to be inside for Thompson. And outside for Randall. All right, hopefully all that stuff fits into the frame. So, without further ado, what is going to transpire in the next 10 rounds? We have Randall in control from the outside, 18. That is going to be a one point cross to get us started. High action, so very quickly things heat up here with a 35 in the normal column. That is the tactical edge. So Thompson is going to win that exchange uh, two to one. High action again, 13 and 16, 81 in the normal column. That's getting up the ladder a bit. Committed puncher, fighter with a greater power. That's going to be Randall. He's going to win this exchange two to one. So. Back and forth they go here early in round one. So much for a slow opening round. We are in high action for the third consecutive segment. That's a 13 and a 20. <clears throat> Excuse me, 44. We are back on tactical edge, so Thompson sees something he can take advantage of in Randall's pace and his style. And 9 and 11 has Frankie Randall on the outside card, column A, with a one-point jab from out, from distance. Wow, so that was quite a run of action there uh, for the opening round. And here we're going to go to open action, 42, clean clinch. And now Thompson, 95 in column D. He throws a hook to the body for one point, keeping this round close. Still anybody's round as we reach the closing moments. It's going to be Randall with a uh, two-point hook. Randall again, 34. 
still uh, in column A. 34 is a one point hook, but this one has a cut check involved. So that cut rating is five. He needs a 10 or better, he rolls a two. It's a normal cut check. So we're in this column here. And I roll a 10, I roll low, so it's just some minor swelling. Left eye. And there is a swelling point. So, good stuff for this opening round. Two, four, six, eight, nine points for Randall, a TKO point against Thompson. There is five, six points, and a TKO point on Randall as well. Both men are three points off. Gets them down to 18 and 16, respectively. And Thompson is going to reconsider his mode for round two. Rolling a nine is going to put him outside. So now that changes things on the open action and high action charts. Now we're in the chess column. And we go straight to that chess column on the open action chart. We have a clinch here. Thompson unloading his best punch. It's an uppercut, but it's and it connects pretty well. Two point punch. Uh, Randall was able to roll with it. He saw it coming just enough. That's why it was shifted to column D. Randall, <clears throat> excuse me, answers back. <clears throat> Forty six with a one point straight punch. Whoops, one point straight punch is dodged actually. That was in column D as well. So Thompson with some good defense. And then after defending, Thompson is going to fire back. This is his, uh, his, his hook is going to get shifted to column D. And that's a one point hook there. So defense, a big factor so far here in round two, as both men are trying to find, uh, you know, measure their distance from the outside. This is Randall now, 12, column D, a one-point hook. So, it feels like a chess match all of a sudden, doesn't it? It does to me. So, well, as soon as I say that, I roll a 13 and a 15, pushing us to the high action chart, 89. On the chess column is the committed puncher. That's going to be Randall uh, with a solid hook, winning this exchange 2-1. to one. Our fourth high action in less than two rounds. And another. Now we have a fifth. There we go. Uh, let's see, what is it? 21 in the chest column down here. Just a grazing exchange. Both men sort of, uh, they're, they're throwing lots of leather, but nothing really major lands during that segment. And then Thompson taking soul control, 55, scores a jab, gets credit for that. And I think he has the edge in the round now. But Randall trying to rally here at the end with an 18, column A, comes back with a cross to make it interesting. Three, four, five, six points to four, five, six to five, very close. Another TKO point on Randall. Three points off for him. We'll get him down to 13. Two points off for Thompson. 16. And we will look at Randall's mode as he receives instruction between rounds and a nine is going to keep him outside. So he's content to stay there. Maybe he feels like he can really uh, get put his power uh, to effect from that range. All right, so anything else we need to know? I guess not. Let's go to round three. Thompson comes out with a 20. 
83. In column A, this is, is, does he have three power? He does have three power. So this is going to be our first K-check of the fight. Thompson, right out of the gate. It is a big uppercut for both a uh, chin check and a cut check. So let's do the chin first. I'll just roll them both. Why not? So we're looking at a chin of five for Randall. 78, he'll be okay. Ooh, he's stunned. Just barely, but he is stunned by that. So that uppercut stands Randall up and has him backing away the 10 on the cut check. He'll be okay here. He needed a five or better. So uh, then we roll the stun segment that follows. So Randall's defense temporarily cut in half. It's a 16 in column A. Thompson just follows up with his jab. Nothing too serious there. Then Randall now is going to answer back with a... Uh, it shifted to column D. This would have been a K-check for Thompson, but he shifted it over here with his defense. And so it is going to be uh, Randall's straight punch, his favorite, but it only grazes for one point. Could have been much worse. Timely defensive roll for Thompson there. Uh, Thompson now uh, coming back 74 with a jab. One point. Having a pretty good round so far. Open action. 08 is what I rolled. That'll be a foul check for the red fighter. He is clean. And, oh, that's an 18. That's a marginal foul. So Thompson receives a warning here. For those tactics. Open action 56. And they juke and move a little. Then Thompson comes right back at him with a 77, scores that jab from outside. Good round. Good round for Thompson. Thompson some more, 75. This time in column D. And his jab uh, fails to connect that time as Randall dodges that one. And Thompson continues all the way to the bell. Zero two. That will be a two point. Well, no. Yeah, actually, it'll still be a two point. Could have been a K check. Shifted. Um, but Thompson didn't have that kind of power anyway. So two point uppercut here at the end of round three to polish off a very strong round for Thompson. Four, five, six, seven, eight points. Eight to one the margin there. So that round is definitely going in his uh, ledger. All right. A third TKO point now on Randall. And Randall's mode for round four stays outside. He's sticking with this current game plan, although uh, not working too well so far. Three points off of Randall. Gets him down to 10. Two points for Thompson. 14. Thompson picks up where he left off at the beginning of round four, zero six. Two-point hook and a cut chance. Uh-oh. And we have a cut check here. I don't remember. Did I do the cut check? Yes, I did. I did, I did the cut check back there on the K3. Okay, so 0-6. And now we've got Randall uh, with some swelling also on the left eye. 
So both men showing signs that they have been in a fight already early in round four. Thompson continues to press ahead, 34. Shifted. This, uh, this hook misses short in column D. Randall needed a little defense there, and he got it. So, open action, 32. And we'll get some movement around the ring as they try to figure each other out. More open action and more movement. All right, the crowd's wondering, okay, you guys, what's going on? More open action and exact same thing. More movement. That's three in a row. At this point, the crowd is probably going to boo or, or, or try to cheer for their guy or something, try to get something going. And it is Thompson that, that uh, heeds the call, 95, with a combination he throws to the head. Uh, Randall's able to defend it partially, and it's only a one-pointer. More from Thompson, 88. Boy, he's on quite a streak here. And this time, lashes out with stinging jabs. Double jab for two points. He's got a solid lead in this round as we come down the stretch. Thompson rolls a 20 on control, 97. Um, column D, however... One point hook. It could have been worse. Randall's been able to defend a lot of this to some extent. And Thompson, again, 60, also column D. And that is going to be a two point uppercut to finish off another strong round for Thompson. This is two rounds in a row where he's really kind of smoked him. Six, eight points, eight to zero. So eight to one, and then eight to zero in the following round. And <laughs> we've, we're missing uh, high action here. The past two rounds we haven't had any. Instead, it's been Thompson just kind of holding control and outpointing uh, Randall from outside. So Randall, what are you going to do for round five? He rolls a twenty, of course. That should change things up. So Randall switching to pressure. Thompson down to 12, Randall down to 7, and I wrote the modes in the wrong, on the wrong round. Don't you hate that? All right, outside pressure. Here we go. Round five, we're approaching the midpoint of this fight, and Thompson certainly is building a little bit of a lead here, a significant lead. The first two rounds are debatable, but uh, yeah, these last two rounds are really not. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and write that down here too. Those don't need to be scored at the end of the fight. So uh, here we have Thompson with a 15, 39, column A, one point cross. And Randall just seems to be in a bit of a funk here, doesn't he? Open action 76. And now we're in the normal column. That's going to be a missed exchange. Both men fire off. Neither man connects. Now here comes Randall with a 61. And he has the power to convert this. His power is five. This is a K5 check. Maybe this will turn things around for him, huh? All right. This is a uh, clean, straight punch to the head, snapping Thompson's head back. We will look at his chin of, his chin is eight at the moment. 94, wow, he takes that quite well, just shakes that off. It's just a two-point punch uh, as he just takes it, 
and continues to stand right there. Nonetheless, Randall's like, okay, you can stand right there. 61 puts him right back on that same result, but this time it's shifted to column D. The result ends up being the same thing, although not nearly as dangerous. No K check, no chin check involved, but two really good hard straight punches from Randall has everybody going, whoa, what's happening all of a sudden? I'll go ahead and roll that. There's an open action 82, normal column, and another missed exchange. More open action, 15. Foul check for the blue fighter. He's average. Whoa, boy, there might be some animosity here. Uh, I'm rolling high on these foul checks. Average 17 is a flagrant foul now. And the warning going to the blue corner. I'll put Randall down for two foul points and continue to keep an eye on that situation. All right, so here is Thompson. Zero five, column A, with a two point hook and a cut chance as he's trying to work his way into this round. Eight, needs a five or better, he's fine. No cut for Randall as we approach the end of round five. Open action 62, it's gonna be a move segment. And then all of a sudden at the end of round five, we're gonna erupt into high action with a 59 normal column. It's the physical edge. So we, they're not both physical. They're, uh, this is gonna be Randall's uh, chance to win this. Um, Two to one with a combination. Our first high action in three rounds. Six, so six actual punch points, eight points, including the foul, which is of no consequence in this case, uh, in terms of causing an extra TKO point. Um, Four points for Thompson. He was kind of sneaky in that round. Didn't feel, like, didn't feel like he did that well, but six to four is close enough to make it debatable, right? Okay, so better stuff from Randall in that round using that pressure card, but can he maintain it? Not likely. I'd have to roll 19 or 20. I rolled 11, so he is going to go inside. And oh, I need to check for Thompson as well. An eight keeps him outside. So outside and inside is where we're gonna be. And they are both three points off, aren't they? TKO point there. Three off gets Thompson down to nine and Randall down to four. So fatigue is going to become an issue in this fight here in the late rounds, if it continues like this. Outside, inside, round six, and things are getting close now. Uh, Randall needed that, needed that round. He, he could use another. But Thompson has other ideas, 16 to one on control. 86, column A is a one point hook. Thompson 65, one point jab, make the cut check. Uh-oh, a new cut effect on Randall, 99, oh dear. Oh dear, this could change everything. We have a deep gash. 
right eye. Mmm. That is four points. One, two, three, four. He is only one point away. Any more damage to that eye will stop the fight. His defense of two is going to drop to one for the remainder, or less actually, until he's fatigued, which is coming quickly. And what else? His CTN of 10 is going to go to plus, he's going to go to 12. As now he's not able to see, he's more hesitant to engage, has to try to protect that eye more. Oh, what a turn of events here for Frankie Randall. On a one point punch result, none, nonetheless. So it was just a grazing punch that just tore that skin open. All right, open action 11. That will be a foul check for the Red Fighter. He is clean by 13 is another marginal foul. So they're even on foul points. Hector Thompson's been in a bit of a mood. <laughs> That's an F1 right here. We'll see if that comes into play. And Thompson, 21 column D, two point uppercut. They are even on control, but because of that cut, this changes it. And now Thompson can take advantage with a 76 lashing out with a jab, trying to do more damage to that right eye and get the stoppage. Randall digs deep and he's gonna fire back 26, scoring a short cross on the inside for one point. Woo, Randall again. Holding control, 66, column D. His short hook this time is ducked, however. Thompson's a little bit on the slippery side. 20 to one on control for Randall as he continues the surge you know, you can imagine <laughs> after after suffering that cut and then the foul that followed it, you can imagine his his corner saying, Hey, you gotta get after him right now. You don't know how long that cut uh will last, how how long you can last with that cut. So uh 13. That is a two point straight punch. Randall's best punch. He didn't quite have enough power to capitalize on the K check, but it was a good shot. And Randall continues now 45 with a two point body head combo. Good stuff from Randall down the stretch to make this round close. Two, three, four, five points. So five punch points. However, that foul point makes it six and is going to inflict another TKO point on him. Meanwhile, uh, five points also from Randall as he rallied in the final minute, especially the final seconds, to make this round close. But he does not get the benefit of a TKO point on Thompson because that foul point. <laughs> uh, yeah, five points is just shy. So that is gonna be three points off of Randall as things continue to not go his way. And then two points off of Thompson, gets him down to seven. Fatigue will be setting in on Randall in the next round. What's he gonna do this round? This round was even. I'm gonna roll for both as they reconsider. In Thompson's corner, they might be thinking, hey, maybe if we get aggressive, maybe we can damage that eye one more time and that'll be the end of the fight. They roll six, they stay outside, so the actual, uh, actually no change there. 18 is just barely 
inside for Thompson. If I'd rolled a 19, that would have been pressure. So the modes ultimately stay the same for round seven. Where's this gonna go next? All right, we have Thompson coming out and scoring with a uh, two point uppercut. Rand, you can see, you know, imagine Randall, you know, trying to bore his way in and Thompson catching him. All right, so here's Thompson 63, column D. Another hard uppercut, so this is becoming a thing that Randall's gonna have to deal with. Thompson is finding his uh, pace. All right, 14 over 12, two points. 13 over 10, three points. Control goes to Thompson. 51, column D is a one point cross. Just by a hair. And then maybe they'll coast here. 19, open action. It's gonna be a foul check for the blue fighter. And I roll low. Incidental contact. No foul. They touch gloves and off we go into high action <laughs> right after touching gloves. That's wonderful. 91. 91 <laughs> in the normal column. That's way up the ladder here. All right, heavy hands, power of six or more, no. Um, if he had, if either one had, it'd be, it'd be a stunning shot. However, uh, if both qualify, it's 2-2. Two -two. Well, that's not the case. If neither qualifies, it's just a 1-1 one -one exchange. So neither of these guys had the power necessary to turn that into a big segment. And Thompson, 93, still in column D. So some good defense. Connects with a one point punch. And Randall turns it around 76, but this is column D. He scores with a combination to the body, but he's gonna get countered off column A of this card, of his own card, 91 on the counter. That's a counter combo to the head and a K check. Wow, that's nasty. K counter combo. Goodness gracious. What, what an incredible moment right there. As Randall gains control, lands that combination and then gets countered with a clean combination coming the other direction. Uh, I guess the chin of five. Let's see what happens. 29. It's not good. It's a four pointer. And Randall is staggered in that vicious exchange. Uh, he goes reeling into the ropes. And now what is Thompson going to do with this? His finisher rating is zero. So not a huge advantage there. He rolls an 11 on the finisher chart, uses angles to open up the opponent's guard and he lands his uppercut for two points on the follow-up. And then we return to normal action. Now, there are um, advanced rules, the same advanced rules from Law of One involving a stagger. So his CTN, uh, Randall's that is, is gonna go up to 13 for this one segment remaining, and his chin is going to go down a notch for this one remaining segment. As round seven comes to a close, it is Thompson, 37, landing a hook and making another cut check with that right eye Being the problem, that is not good enough. If this is any damage to the right eye, the fight will be stopped between rounds. 
45. What do we got? Nose bleeding. That's going to go in the other category. Wow. So you can, uh, you can see the doctor, the fight doctor being called in. Take a look at, at Randall. You know, the, the, the eye is a mess. He's got some swelling on the left. Now his nose is bleeding. Uh, he's got an overall, he's got six points. Uh, three more points total. Uh, would stop the fight just on general damage. So that's something else to keep an eye on. But what happened here? So punch points, five, six, seven. Wow, he had seven already. Uh, four makes 11, 12, 13, and 14 points. That's two TKO points against. One and two. He's at six TKO points. His TKO rating is seven, and he lost this round 14 to two. So now the TKO watch is on for Frankie Randall, and here comes fatigue on top of that. So he is four points off, gets him down to negative three. And so his CTN, uh, that was at 12, temporarily at 13, but that was because of the stagger, is going to now go to 13 as the base. And then his defense of one now becomes zero. So this is something else I'm experimenting with. I'm, I'm allowing ratings to go to zero. So that means Randall will not be <laughs> connecting with any dangerous counter punches uh, or stopping anything that, that Thompson throws at him from this point forward. And what else? Uh, the power drain, five goes to three. So his his power drops to three. They are now equal on power. Meanwhile, Thompson is two points off, right? He was uh, outside mode, yeah. So he's down to five. So he might just make it. Tom, the fatigue is, is Thompson's biggest uh, enemy, really. And uh, when you look at his card... And it looks like he's done enough here that he's going to make it without that being an issue. All right, so having won that round handily, 14 to 2, Randall has to figure something out here. He rolls a 5. He'll stay outside, or he'll go outside, which that might not be <coughs> such a bad thing. Uh, there's actually some better power chances out there for him from outside than inside. So both men outside, a TKO watches on if Randall falls behind by six. In this round, the fight will be stopped. If he suffers any more damage to his right eye, the fight will be stopped. So he's got double jeopardy in that regard. All right. It is Thompson, 68. One point hook. High action, 11 on the chest column is a grazing exchange, one each. We're back on high action, still on the chest column, 59. The tactical edge, wouldn't you know it? That's the thing about these, these different columns, chess, brawl, and normal. They favor different styles of fighting. So if you're in a chess match, the tactical fighter has a, a bit more of an edge there. So right now it is four to two, a two point gap in scoring. High action again, 98, woo. Heavy hands, no one's got that. We've talked about this before. Both men have a power of three, so that will just go down as a one-one exchange. We've had three high actions in a row, similar to, well, that was round one, where that happened. Still a two-point advantage for Thompson. Now Thompson in control, 55. One-point jab. He is three points away from the stoppage. High action, 14 and 16. 
and chess column, that's an even exchange again. We've had a fourth high action result here in round eight. As uh, Randall is, is standing there and throwing, he can't land anything hard, hasn't yet. Hasn't for some time, actually, since round six. Open action zero eight. Red fighter foul check, he's clean by one, no problem there. So we'll just mark that off. And the final two segments, and I'm gonna remind myself here, it is four to, uh, let's see, four, five, six, seven, so three points away. All right, three point gap. And here comes Randall with a 30, column A, two point straight punch, the best punch he's landed in some time, and he needed that. Uh, that keeps the round close, and he is not going to be stopped in this round, it would seem. And we're going to go for a fifth high action. That's amazing. I think that's the most high actions I've had in a single round. 67 in the chest column. Physical edge. All right, that's going to go in Randall's favor, and this round's going to end up being even, I believe. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four, and then two hard punches at the end is also eight. The round is even, eight apiece. And Randall cancels that TKO watch because now he's fought evenly in this round, so the referee's not that concerned about him as we go to round nine. Since it was even, I'm gonna roll for both on the mode checks. Ooh, four and six, I rolled low. Outside and outside, so they stay outside. Uh, let's see, three points off is negative six for Randall. That's gonna put him into level two fatigue, so we add Chin and Will. Chin of four, will of six. And then three off is gonna get Thompson down to two. All right, um, yeah, and I rolled outside modes for both. So we just stay in those modes and we go to round nine. It's been an interesting one. Uh, Thompson certainly is, is getting the dice lock here. Open action as we get deep into the fight. You'll, there'll be more open actions as they get fatigued and other effects take place. 57 chess. They move around a bit. They're a little bit wary. Weary and wary. Then Thompson, the fresher of the two, 56. Scores a jab. Thompson again, 82. That is not column D. I rolled a one on defense, but it doesn't matter in this case. Uh, Randall is too affected by fatigue and the, and the cut has brought his defense to zero. So uh, this is going to be a K plus check. So this is a K plus a cut. And let's do the chin check for his chin, which is now four. 70 on four is going to be a three point stunner. And then the cut check, he's okay there. But now Randall uh, gets hammered again. Boy, if this had happened in the previous round, it'd, it'd probably be over. But instead, we're going to just keep on cruising here as Thompson has Randall on the run. Tries, he's kind of in a defensive shell. Thompson follows through with a straight punch. It's only a one-pointer, though and lets him off the hook. Open, action 58. 
more movement. High action, zero five, but we're in the chest column. So that'll just be a grazing exchange, one, one. And then Randall, zero six. Thompson's defense of three is still intact. Huge advantage there. Zero six gets shifted to column D. Randall connecting with a one point hook, but there is a cut chance. Cut rating five. He is safe with a 13. All right, nearing the end of round nine. We're back on high action, 49. This time, this column here, tactical edge, two to one in favor of Thompson. And then Thompson to close the round, 72, with a two point straight punch. Ouch. Good, solid shot. Couple of good, solid shots there at the end of the round after Randall being stunned early in the round. That's that's not looking good. Uh, Randall's going to be on TK or watch again for round 10. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points. An eighth TK or point versus three. So, we know round nine is in the books. Unanimously for Thompson. The TKO watch is on. Can Thompson find a way to stop Randall? Three points off is negative nine. And that's going to put him in level three fatigue. His, his control threshold goes up to 14. And his power of three now goes to two. All right, then Thompson two finally hit zero. Zero on, uh, zero on endurance. So he is, his CTN is gonna go up to 11. His defense of three goes to two. And his power of three is also gonna go to two, isn't it? Yes. So they were even on power. at this stage, and what else? Chin, minus two at level one fatigue. So his chin was eight, so his chin now drops to six. That's a special trait off of his card. So he becomes more vulnerable as soon as he gets fatigued. And we've arrived at that point. So that gives Randall a kind of a snowball's chance at a dramatic comeback here in the final round, round 10 between these two, and let's see. I'm, I, I think we have to put Randall in pressure mode. Um, he's been stunned a couple times. He's been staggered. He's lost a couple rounds handily. Three rounds, easily. Uh, he's lost, and then, yeah, other rounds are debatable, so he needs a knockout, almost certainly, to win this thing. Unless he's got a judge on payroll. So, Thompson, I think, uh, he's been doing fine, just fine from outside. So, why not stay there? Outside and pressure for the 10th and final round. And we're going to go to open action. 97 is an even exchange. So they both try to muster some energy. They're both fatigued. And nothing big lands there. But then, after that even exchange, now we're going to go to high action with a 72 in the normal column. Rally, the fighter trailing on punch points in this round. Well, they're even. So now they're going to just slug it out 2-2. Two -two. And that's a high action result for four points, four total punch points. Scored in that segment. Uh, good stuff. 
So two even exchanges to start round 10 as the pace picks up and we've got, whoo, that's close. Thompson with an 11 taking control, 94. Two point combination to the head. So a six point margin is also something else we're keeping an eye on. They can stop Randall. 35, column A. That's a one point hook from Thompson. And here comes a cut check. I guess the cut rating of eight. He needs a five or better. He gets a 15. So Randall's able to protect that cut, but he's trailing by three points here. The referee's starting to take a close look. 52. And here is a two point hard, two point cross uh, to Randall. And the referee's looks like he's moving in, uh, watching out to save Randall from any permanent damage. And, but we end up going to open action in the next segment, 06. Normal, it's gonna be a red fighter foul check. Wow, what a time for a foul, as Thompson is close to getting a stoppage. Roll a six, he's clean, so he'll be okay. Mark off that segment. And three segments remaining. Thompson needs one more punch point to get the TKO. Open action 81. Ah, man, come on. That is a missed exchange. You gotta be kidding me. Now we're getting down to the wire. Is this gonna go to the judges' cards after all? It's Thompson 67. This is gonna do it, right? 67, one point jab. And there's two things going on here. First of all, that's the TKO. So the fight is now over. With that, that's a six point margin for Thompson, which will force the stoppage, but there's still a cut chance involved. So let's check that. He rolls a seven, he's okay. So it's not the cut that causes the stoppage. It is just the accumulated damage. And we have a TKO at 220 plus 16, so 236 of round 10. Hector Thompson puts a stop to Frankie Randall in a very interesting fight. That had some little twists and turns, but it was it was Thompson's fight, uh, almost certainly from the third round on. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, and we are going to come back next time, probably be two or three days from now, and we will have Hector Thompson versus the upset-minded, uh, the upset-prone Rafael Pineda.